When a customer pays you for an invoice, receiving and depositing that money is quite easy. Remember, invoicing requires three steps. Enter the invoice, then receive the payment, then record the deposit. Okay, suppose you received a check from a customer you invoiced earlier. Just follow the arrow on the home page and click Receive Payments. Let's quick fill the customer's name. QuickBooks automatically lists any unpaid invoices for that customer or job here. Enter the amount they're paying. Select the form of payment. In this case, it's a check. Enter the check number here. This is the date you received the payment. QuickBooks checks off the invoices you are applying this payment to. You can uncheck and change this if you want. Before we record this payment receipt, let's answer a common question. Where does this payment go? QuickBooks puts this payment, along with any other payments you haven't deposited yet, in an account called Undeposited Funds. Think of this as the temporary place where you put payments before you go to the bank. Some people put payments in a vinyl bank bag, a metal box, a drawer, whatever works for you. When you save this payment, the money goes into that account first. That way, if you receive other checks and payments during the day, you can group them together to record one deposit, the one you really make in the real world. Let's deposit the payment now. Click Record Deposits. QuickBooks lists any payments you've received. You'll also see money you received on sales receipts here. Here's the payment we just received. Select the payments you want to deposit together, the ones you're taking to the bank. To save time, click Select All. Click OK. This window shows that you're depositing money into your checking account. You can change this if you need to. And the money is coming from the undeposited funds account. Remember, this is the temporary storage place where you put money before you go to the bank. Oh, and if you received a refund or a check that's unrelated to invoices or sales receipts, enter it directly into this window on the next open line. Click Save and Close. It's that simple. Remember, record deposits after you've received payments or entered a sales receipt into QuickBooks.